This next demonstration, I'll use a, a quill variable loop uh, configuration. I'm using PDO, the purple uh, is easier to pick up against this uh, skin pad. You can see that the, the variable loop is a pre-snared uh, loop, uh, and the, the size of which is, of course, variable. And then the needles pass through that loop to create a, a fixation in the tissue. If I pull the suture, you can see that that variable loop is getting smaller. So before it gets too small, I'll pass the needle through the loop and then tug on that and it creates the fixation. And I'm going to sew as if this is a deeper layer. I just wanted to demonstrate the, the purchase you get with the variable loop. Now essentially, whether you start on this side or this side, you're really just looking to gain purchase with that variable loop. Now you're running in a simple running fashion, unidirectionally. From that variable loop. When in suturing practice, the using the arc of the needle as a mechanical advantage is, is a key element of suturing technique. And if you can demonstrate that in your animations or illustrations, that would be very realistic. So as you see, I drive the needle and I am supinating my hand and letting the needle curve do the work. So I've gone to the apex of the incision, I've done a back stitch, and I'm happy with the way this looks. Cut flash.